Products, Aunt Jemima Pancake Mix. <laughs> Anyone for waffles and ice cream? <laughs> Goes it on, horse. Uh, oh, I've been ridden, kicked, whipped, fought over, under, and on. Mm, these are good. Chocolate. Mm hmm. I use chocolate milk in the Aunt Jemima waffle recipe. Come on, Daddy, let's play horse. Ugh. You sure you wouldn't like some more waffles and ice cream first? Yeah. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Seconds come naturally with Aunt Jemima. People have been saying more to Aunt Jemima waffles and pancakes for over 60 years. If you like waffles, sure as shaken, they're Aunt Jemima's. Now Quaker invites you to enjoy the adventures of the Nelson family. Well, now, of course, I realize that the few of us here on the entertainment committee can't do it all by ourselves. But, fellows, we have got to make the entire membership aware of the importance of making this year's picnic the biggest success the men's club has ever had. Suppose it rains. It is not going to rain. I've checked with the Weather Bureau. Now, are there any more questions? All right, if not, I'd like to bring up the question of new members. Now, I know it's a little out of our jurisdiction. But, fellows, we just don't seem to be getting the new members the way we used to, and a lot of our old members seem to be dropping out. Well, I've got the answer to that. A lot of guys have got the idea this is an old lady's outfit. Well, I resent that. What for? They didn't say anything about old men. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I've spoken to a few friends of mine about joining, and they're not at all interested. They think we're a bunch of panty waste. They may be right. Now, just take that trophy case over there, for instance. About five measly little cups. What about that bowling trophy? That was for the city championship 1940, wasn't it? Uh, uh, that belongs to the women's club. <laughs> no kidding. I never knew that. You know, I've been thinking this over, and I'd like to make a suggestion. I'm sure that there are a lot of members that have picked up a trophy of sort from time to time. Why don't we get them to bring them all in? We'll put them on display so the new members will know what kind of fellas we really are. I've got a couple I'd be willing to donate. Golden Gloves heavyweight champion, all-state fullback, wrestling champion of the Pacific Fleet. And I'd even toss in the glove I used when I tried out with the New York Yankees. Well, maybe we can pick up a couple of other trophies and you fellas here tonight. Uh, I won a cup for a cross-country race in 1927. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a runner. Well, it was a motorcycle race. I rode in the sidecar. <laughs> I got a medal for fly casting. Of course, I wouldn't want my wife to know about it. She thought I was away on a business trip that weekend. <laughs> hey, our basketball team in junior high won the league championship, and we all got little cups for that. Uh, how about you, Doc? Well, I got a couple of trophies for medical school. A personal letter from the dean telling me my tuition was overdue. <laughs> and a couple of gallstones from my first operation. Oh, no. You don't put those on public display. Those are mine. <laughs> How about you, Oz? Suppose it rains. <laughs> it's not going to rain. Oh, say, you have a cup you won for paddle tennis. You know, the one that Harriet keeps the salted peanuts in? Oh, yeah. And then I have a, a golf trophy. And then the cup for the decathlon. Decathlon? Say, that's wonderful. You say, that's for ten events, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, discus, broad jump, shot put. Well, of course, it was a long while ago. That doesn't make any difference. That's terrific, Oz. Bring it over. Sure, we'll put it right next to my cup for the wrestling championship of the Pacific Fleet. Oh, I, I think this is a wonderful idea, and I'd like to make a suggestion, if it's appropriate at this time. Well, all right, Wally, but to keep it brief. Oh, well, I will, I will. I, I just wanted to say that since apparently we have several members who have athletic prowess, which hitherto they've been keeping hidden under the proverbial bushel baskets, I think that they should be officially requested to be... Hey, what's that? Well, I tried to warn you to keep it brief. It's 11.30. The janitor's turned off the lights. <laughs> Move the meeting be adjourned. No. Is there a second? A seconded. All right, those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting adjourned. Oh! Watch that gavel.
Well, can I help you, madam? Oh. <laughs> no, thanks. I'm just looking. What are you looking for? Uh, I was looking for one of my trophies. Uh, the members of the club are going to put them on display down there. Oh, what's the occasion? Well, it seems there's been a lot of talk that the club members are a bunch of old ladies. Well, now, where did anybody ever get an idea like that? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I can't seem to find my decathlon trophy. Your what? My decathlon trophy. You know, the, the cup I won up at Camp Ripawam when I was with the Boy Scouts? You've seen it lots of times. Oh, was that the little trophy with the handles on the sides? Oh, no. It's about, uh, well, it's, it's, it's bigger than that. Oh, well, no, I haven't seen it lately. Why don't you come on downstairs and go to bed? We'll all look for it tomorrow. <laughs> yet, Darv. Well, I didn't think you'd need it so soon. Well, of course I, I'm sure I won it. You, you don't think I'd tell you I did if I didn't, do you? Well, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll find it. I, it's here someplace. <laughs> okay. Boy. What's the matter? Well, I, uh, I gotta find that trophy. Darby's begin to act like I made the whole thing up. Well, that's ridiculous. I remember it very well. It was a nice little silver cup. Uh, it was much bigger. It was about this big. This isn't it, is it, Pa? Oh, no. Where'd you find that? Not in the garage. Oh, good. We can use it for the picnic. We've looked everywhere. The attic, the basement, and the garage. You can't find the trophy any place. Gee, I hope we find it. It's beginning to look like I made the whole thing up. Well, if you can't find the old one, why don't you buy a new one to take its place? Oh, Harry, I can't do a thing like that. Well, why not? You won it. I saw it. Oh, Mom, Pop can't do that. Well, uh, just a second now, Rick. Uh, Mom's right. Uh, I won it. She saw it. It's okay with me. Well, yeah, it's okay with me, too, Pop. I won't tell anybody. <laughs> it's not a question of telling anybody, Dave. Uh, I, I won it fairly and squarely. Your mother saw it. Yes, certainly I did. It was a nice little silver cup about so big. <laughs> It was about this big. I ought to know. I won it. Yeah, but I saw it. How large a trophy did you want? Say, one like this? Well, that's kind of small. I was thinking of something just a, a little bit larger. How about this one? Uh, well, that, that's nice. Uh... I, I, I was thinking of something just a, a little bit larger. After all, it is for the decathlon. Oh, well, if I may make a suggestion, this is for a track and field team championship, but we could make a beautiful decathlon trophy out of it. Mount a figure for each of the ten events on each step, and on top, you have the goddess of victory holding the flaming torch. Oh, well, uh, that might be <laughs> just a, a little pretentious. Uh, how about that one there? This one? Yeah, it seems like kind of a nice compromise. Uh, this is kind of a rush order. Uh, how long would it take me to have this engraved? I'll phone the engraver and find out for you. What did you want put on there? Uh, oh, decathlon champion Ozzie Nelson. Decathlon champion Ozzie Nelson. And what is your name, sir? Uh, Ozzie Nelson. <laughs> it is perfectly legitimate. Uh, I won a, a trophy like this, but uh, I've misplaced it. Yes, sir. Well, I'll phone the engraver. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> well, Ozzy, how are you? Uh, hello, Darb. Uh, what are you doing here? I, uh, well, uh, what are you doing here? I came in to pick up the trophies for the picnic, you know, for the races and stuff. Oh. Uh, say, that uh, reminds me. Will it be all right if I stop by your place a little later on and borrow some sports equipment? Oh, oh, yes, yes, certainly. Uh, what'd you say you were doing in here? Uh, just, uh, you know, browsing around. Mr. Nelson. Is it... Oh, hold it, Bobby, I'll be right with you. Mr. Nelson, let me just check this with you again to make sure. You want the engraver to put the Catalan champion across the top here, then your name down about here, right? Oh, uh, yes, uh, that'll be fine. What's this? Uh, well... <laughs> The darndest thing happened. Uh, I lost my decathlon trophy, so Harriet suggested I come down here and, and buy another one uh, just like it. 
I didn't want to disappoint the, the fellows in the, the men's club. Yes, of course, Oz. <laughs> I just wondered what time the medals for the men's club picnic would be ready. Oh, we'll have those about 5 o'clock this afternoon. Fine. Uh, Thank you. I'll stop in then and pick them up. 5 o'clock, uh, a, a darb? It's quite all right, Oz. I believe you. <laughs> See you later. How do you like that? It is a man's uh, one of my best friends, and, and evidently he doesn't believe I, I won that trophy. Or, I, or you know, uh, won a similar to it and uh, lost it. I'm sure he believes you. I think he's just kidding you a little bit. I hope so. <laughs> Say, if you ever need any combat ribbons, we have a complete line. <laughs> Between a man and his dog, there's something very special, and they both know it. Yes, there's no other dog in the world like yours. No other dog food like Kennel Ration, America's favorite dog food. Kennel Ration is packed with lean red meat. It contains wholesome steaks, chops, and roasts of U.S. government-inspected horse meat, plus other nutrients a dog is known to need. The kind of protein-rich food today's dogs require. Yes, there's no other dog in the world like yours. No other dog food like Kennel Ration. Put your trust in Kennel Ration with lean red meat. More people do. Oh, hi, Rick. Hi, Mr. Dibble and Dr. Williams. Oh, hi, fellas. Hi, Oz. Come on and sit down. Well, oh, no, we can't stay, Oz. We just wanted to give you your application blanks. Application blanks? Oh, we're going to do things in style this year. Application blanks and everything. Hey, this is quite an idea. Yeah, we figured we'd avoid all the confusion we had last year. Well, I don't remember any confusion last year, especially. Well, you must have left before they tapped the second keg of beer. <laughs> Things got pretty confusing after that. You see, this way we can tell in advance who's entered in the various events. Oh, but come on, you can sit down for just a minute. I want to look this over. By the way, we have a new event we thought might stir up a lot of interest. The family decathlon. <laughs> decathlon? Yeah, we kind of named it after your specialty. It's got ten events, you see. Would this by any chance be Darby's idea? Well, now that you mention it, I think he did suggest it. Or maybe it was Butch Barton. This wouldn't be a, a subtle way of accusing me of something, would it? Nobody's accusing you of anything, Oz. Well, I'm sorry. I guess I, I misunderstood. Oh, speaking of the trophy case, we may as well pick up your trophies while we're here. Oh, pardon me. They're over here. Terribly sensitive. <laughs> well, here they are. They may not be as big as Butch's, but they're mine. Well, where's the other one, your new decathlon trophy? Uh, let's forget about that one, shall we? Well, why? No, no, Wally, I see his point. Naturally, you wouldn't want that on display, along with these legitimate ones. <laughs> no, 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 just a second. That's just as legitimate as those are. Oh. Maybe we'd better not display these, either. No, 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 no. These are gonna go in the trophy case. I'll take them. Thank you. That's all right, Oz. And if you want to put the phony one in the case, too, that's all right with me. <laughs> going to enter all these events at the picnic? As far as I'm concerned, Dave, we're not going to enter any of them. Where are we going? Well, you can do what you want to. I just don't want to go to the darn thing. Well, Dr. Williams and Mr. Darby sure have you buffaloed. Well, what do you mean by that? <laughs> just because they were kidding you about the trophy is no reason why you shouldn't go to the picnic. Well, they might have been kidding, but I wasn't. I tell you, I won the trophy. Well, of course you did, Pop. Well, just a second, David. Mom didn't say she saw it. <laughs> To me, the best way to prove that you did win it is to go to the picnic, enter the family decathlon, and walk off with the prizes. Mom's right, Pop. That'd show. Come on, dear. It's not like you to give up so easily. Hey, look at these. Forward pass for distance and hand wrestle. I'll bet you David can win both of these. Hey, there's a round robin tennis tournament here. I bet Ricky could win the singles and he and I could win the doubles. And there's a pie baking contest. Oh, well, I don't think I'd be very good at that. Why don't you try that, Dave? <laughs> Let me see that. Yeah, I think I'll enter that with Grandma Nelson's blueberry pie recipe. 
You and Ricky could enter the two-man volleyball, Dave. <laughs> now, wait a minute. What am I going to enter? That's a spirit pot. <laughs> well, there are lots of interesting events here. We'll just divide them all up. Looks like a lot of fun. Okay, but let's get one thing understood. If we're going to enter the family decathlon, let's not just enter it. Let's make up our minds we're going to win it. That a boy, Pop. That's the stuff, Pop. Good for you, Dad. <laughs> Blueberry pie is terrific, just like Mother used to make. Oh, thank you, dear. Not be, it's your mother's recipe. Don't anybody touch this pie. I'm going to enter it in the contest. If it tastes as good as this one, you'll win first prize. Well, thank you. Ozzy, you really ought to stop eating. You've got a lot of running to do this afternoon. Well, the athletic events won't start for a couple of hours yet. May I have your attention, please? Attention, please. The athletic events will start in five minutes. <laughs> Carbohydrates give you a lot of energy. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! Football <laughs> yeah, throw for distance, third and final throw, Joe Burns to the line. Into the line. Ladies, I must say I've never tasted ten more delicious pies. <laughs> if I had my way, I'd give first prize to each and every one of you ladies. But there's only one first prize, so my choice is number seven. Oh, hey, that's mine. Oh. Well, congratulations, Mrs. Nelson. Got the 
Obstacle race for married men over 35. Will all the contestants please report at the starting line immediately? What? I just checked the score, and all I have to do is get a third place in this, and we win. Well, what about Butch Barton and his family? Well, they're tied for first, but he's not even entered in this one. Oh, good. Good luck, Derek. Well, thank you. Good luck, good luck Bob. Bob. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, this is the obstacle race, and I think it's only fair to warn you it's a real tough event. So if you feel you can't take it, I'd advise you to drop out now. I think I've had enough. Scratch it. Yeah, me too. Well, it looks like it's up to us. <laughs> How can we lose? You got a mate now, Pop. All you got to do is finish. <laughs> On your mark. Hold it, Judge. Yes, there's a lot of us fellas want to get in this. No, no, no. Wait a second. You're supposed to have your entry in a day ahead of time. What's the matter? I feel afraid you're going to lose, are you? Well, no, but this is not. Go! Just a second. Now, wait a second. We've just heard from our outpost telephone that Ozzie Nelson and Butch Barton have just taken the lead in the cross-country obstacle race. So good, is he? He's never gonna make it. Come on, Pop! Come on, Pop! I'll make it. Honey, have you got your slingshot? Yeah, right here. May I borrow it? Next week, the Nelson family will be brought to you by Eastman Kodak Company. And now, here's Ozzie with the most exciting camera news in years. An electric eye camera made by Kodak that actually costs less 
than $20. That's right. It's the lowest priced electric eye camera in Kodak history. And it's called the Brownie Star Meter. Now you can get bright, clear shots one after another the way the experts do. That's because there's no guesswork with the Brownie Star Meter. A built-in electric eye light meter reads and measures the light for you. It shows you exactly the right exposure to use wherever you are. You'll get beautiful pictures time after time in black and white or color, even gorgeous color slides. Why don't you go to your dealer and ask him to show you one? The Brownie Star Meter camera costs just $19.95. It's the lowest priced electric eye camera Kodak has ever made. And remember, only a Brownie camera gives you so much pleasure at so low a cost. Well, don't look so disappointed just because it's nothing serious. <laughs> Oh, well, the medical term is picnicitis. It comes from too much running around in the hot sun and too much blueberry pie. <laughs> it's worth it, though, Pop. It's a beautiful trophy. Family decathlon. Oh, uh, remind me to take that down to the men's club and put it in the trophy case, Dave. Nobody can deny we won that one, Doc. No, nobody can deny you won this one. Gee, that's beautiful, Dave. Well, nobody can deny he won this one, either. Decathlon champion Camp Ripawam, Ozzy Nelson. Well, Oz, you really did win this. Well, uh, Harriet, where'd you find this? Well, I knew you won it. I saw it, but I didn't remember where. And then when I was looking over your mother's pie recipe, it occurred to me that maybe I'd seen it at her house. So I called her and asked her. But that is, what did I tell you, Doc? Oz, I'm going to take this right down and put it in the place of honor. You're a real champion. <laughs> I'm almost tempted not to send you a bill. Oh, do I accept. I said almost. <laughs> See you. So long, Doc. Well, now they get a chance to see what a real decathlon trophy looks like. Oh, say, I wonder if I should have given Doc this scroll your mother sent along with it. It lists all the events. Oh, yeah. As I recall, I did pretty well for a kid. I think I got, let's see, five first places and about four seconds. That's right. First place in wheelbarrow race, checkers, one-legged chicken hop, pancake eating contest, and peanut push. <laughs> I, I don't feel so good. <laughs> this has been an ABC Television Network film presentation.